Hi everybody, this is Vikyong. Today, I'm just going to do a demonstration of how the HA will work in vSphere 5. Here I have a vCenter 5.0 and two ESX servers. One is on 4.1 and another is on ESXi 5.0. Alright, as you can see here. I also have a VM. It's currently running on the 4.1. Yes, etc. I'm just going to do a small tap down, alright, and just to make sure that the VM here will be actually migrated. So here we go. I'm actually doing a master environment. So here I'm just going to do a tap down. Come back here. While the ESX is shutting down, we can just take a look at the VM console. My VM is still running, which means the ESX is still alive, it's not down yet. And here you can see the ESX server is lost and my VM is disconnected. Here we can see that it's under HA protection. So let's see if this will be powered up on the other host and yes you can see here it has been shifted to the other hypervisor and it's now been powered on We shall look at the task being performed on this VM. And you can see that there are some ticketing tasks being done to allocate the VM using HA. Okay, now my ESX 4.1 server is back and my VM is also running. Right here on my ESX 4.1 is actually now a slave while my ESX i 5.0 is the master. And my VM is now running and it's on ESX i 5.0. So many of you have actually asked me what if my data store is lost but my ESX server is still running which could be due to uh, if you are running on iSCSI perhaps a mid failure but your management LAN is still working or your HPA card failed however your hypervisor is still running so I'm just going to demonstrate this I'm just going to go to my ESX i5.0 and um, this is going to be my data store. And I'm just going to show you see now my iSCSI connection broke 
my VM console is going to go lost when it's hosted on my ESXi 5.0 and I totally have no connection to it it's totally gone and will HA take place? the answer is no HA protects the failure of host but does not protect the failure of devices so in this case the data store will have no more heartbeat the management network will still have a heartbeat which means if I were to go back to the summary you see that my ESXi will still run as a master and my ESX 4.1 you run as a slave. There's no detection of any failure in HA context, only the loss of data stores. So if I were to show you my ESXi 5.0, you see that the data store is lost. The VM, however, will get stuck. And the only way to stop this is to use the new ESX CRI alright and you will see the VM is still there running and I will have to perform a queue this process before I do that we just take a look back here what will happen to the VM and you can see that it's actually trying to do a migration and do you think that this migration will be successful the answer is no the status is going to stay stuck here at a certain percentage or even at this status in progress because there's no more transfer of memory status or CPU status of the VM and you will be stuck in the ESX i5.0 under the tasks and events you will see that the system actually will try to migrate this but I'm going to just tell you that this will not work so back here I'm just going to queue the task and do a list again and I can see that there's no more machine running here I will have to wait for the VM to time out in order to do a power down for this VM as you can see all these options will be grayed out I have no way of controlling this VM until a timeout has happened even if I were to do a connection back for the iSCSI It would not help. And yes, he has already failed. You can see a general system error has occurred. And let's go back. You see the task change from grey to grey. And this VM is totally down. There will be no HA taking place. This VM will not be power on, as you can see, even though the HA has stated that it's protected. Okay, this ends my demonstration. Do drop me any comments if you have any questions.